I'm Holly Mitchell, state senator from the 30th Senate District, and you're watching Pop Source TV. I represent CAM in the 30th Senate District. I've been a longtime supporter of the Black AIDS Institute. Phil Wilson is a good friend. Uh, I chair the um, Budget Committee for the California State Senate. I serve on the Health Committee. And so for many years have worked very hard to make sure that resources are being brought back to the community that's been disproportionately impacted um, by this disease. Uh, black people and black women mm -hmm. and specifically. And have always um, appreciated the work of Black AIDS Institute. Um, the uh, collaborations they've had with St. John's and others in bringing services directly to our community. So I'm thrilled to be here tonight um, to support the gala um, and we'll always be here and show up when they I need to. I was going to say, you come every year, right? I don't You're come here. every year. I try to make it, yeah. but here I don't come there, every year, but yes, here. I've yeah, been here. a couple here. of times because I've been seen a, you. Yes, and yeah. I've been a supporter of the organization for many, many, many years. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where do you think we're going as a people in terms of supporting each other in these different uh, endeavors? That's an excellent question. I'm a member of the California Legislative Black Caucus. There are 10 African-American legislators that serve in the California legislature. And we held our The State of Black California Summit just today uh, at the Luskin Center at UCLA, where we spent the entire day talking about civic engagement, health status, the census, a variety of issues that disproportionately impact our community. Um, I feel good. I feel optimistic. Uh, but black people are going to have to show up and show out on Election Day, March 3rd, and black people are going to have to be counted. There's a whole campaign, My Black Counts. Say it, say it again, right My there. My Black Counts. And so the census is an important um, measurement tool, so we are counted, so we know how many people are in our communities. It's through the census that we get our allocations for school funding, for health funding, all kinds of public services that the black community relies on. So my black counts, you got to be counted in the U.S. Census in the next two months. Love it. Tell me more about the big election that we have that's coming up in November. Yes. What are your thoughts on that? Okay, so, um, you know, Californians have always felt that, you know, uh, our vote didn't matter because um, the June, our June primary is always so late in the process. Well, the state legislature took a vote presidential years our primary is early it's in March so we are a part of Big Tuesday nationwide so people have to know election day is March 3rd in California this year you can vote for 11 days we're going to be voting differently in California in LA County voting centers um, so I don't want people to say I don't know how this works so I'm not gonna vote too much is at risk here in LA County we have the opportunity to elect a new supervisor in the second district as well as a new district attorney. Um, those are key elected positions that impact the lives of black people. So Absolutely. I want people to be informed and most importantly to know that election day is March 3rd. Mm -hmm. And I can't remiss that we're going through a season right now. Yes. And so if you could speak to that, especially with the lack of diversity for the Oscars, this is Oscars weekend. Absolutely. So if you can speak more on that, we would appreciate it. You know, I just have to say that I'm so thrilled to be a part of the new natural hair movement. Uh, and Matthew Cherry has been nominated um, for uh, Hair Love. Right. For the um, animated short. Right. Um, I'm the author. Of it's the great, Corona. too. It's a wonderful piece. It's so sensitive and it's a father-daughter relationship it's amazing I'm the author of the Crown Act here in California which says that um, you can't be discriminated ba discriminated against based on how you wear your hair if you wear your hair in a natural style like I do I've been locked for 15 years and so once again uh, we are often left out in the entertainment industry however I think the fact that he's received that nomination and the content of his animated short right. speaks volumes in terms of where we are as a country, where we are as black people in terms of e e exerting our cultural pride. Yes. And uh, let's hope the Oscars do the right thing by acknowledging him. Okay. Yes. I love that. Anything yes. else you would like to add to your constituents it. or that's anybody? Thank you so much. Um, the work of the Black AIDS Institute is timeless and it's important. Um, and so I'm glad to be here. And it's not just about coming out for one night for the gala. <laughs> it's about consistent support all year round. And they know they can count on me for that. I love that. Thank you. All right. Thank all right, you. I right. appreciate you thank so you. much. Thank you. Okay.